Hey guys, it's Sunday night and um, tomorrow new week starts. Uh, so I thought that before uh, the new week starts I should do one last segment for you. So I'm going to show you how to import and edit footage in um, Final Cut Pro from the iPhone 4. So here we go. First I'm going to import it so you'll see some problems we might run into. First I'm going to import the clips. So I'll go here and import this one. Oh sorry, that was the wrong one. That was some cows. Uh, I'll import this one. It's a video of my daughter jumping in the water in the middle of the street. So I'll have the clip up here and I'll just drag it down to the timeline like this. And it gives me a question here. Um, it says that the sequence settings doesn't match the settings of the video clip. So uh, it asks if I want to change this so that they match. If I press no here and try to play this, I get this horrible uh, beep sound and a text telling me it's unrendered. And I can also see that from the red line above the timeline here, I can see that it's not rendered. It's not, uh, uh, it's not finished to show on the screen. So I'll do that again. I'll delete this one and I'll drag it down to the timeline again. And I get the same question if I want to change the settings to match the clip the settings of the sequence to match the clip. So I'll press yes. And then you can see we only get one red line there. So I'll see what happens when I play it. Now you can see oops. Now you can see that we have the video image but the sound is, is not any good. It's also kind of choppy there. So what we have to do then is to change. We have to change the sound settings to match the sound settings of the sequence in Final Cut Pro. The problem is that we have camera-based and editing-based codecs, and we have distribution codecs. I haven't talking about this before, and you you probably saw my example when I. Um, trans when I converted the clips from the 550D um, to uh, a better ed editable format, we can we can um, look at this first. I'll look at the properties of this clip, and you saw that the picture we could see the the, the image, but we couldn't hear the sound. So I'll go down here and I'll take a look. The sound is in 44.1 kilohertz. That's the, the audio rate. So press OK and I'll go to the sequence settings and I'll take a look at that one. And you see here I have 48 kilohertz. The, the video clip had 44.1 and this has 48 kilohertz. So I am gonna try to see if I can change this the sequence settings let's see what happens if I change this uh, the sequence settings to 44.1 kilohertz I'll try to play it again nothing happens and that's because um, we have uh, uh, we have a distribution codec on the iPhone 4 clip, so we have to convert this clip. No matter if I change uh, the settings here, I still have to change the clip. Time to convert the clip, and for this I'm going to use the Apple software compressor. It's a part of the Final Cut Pro suite. 
so I'll um, I, I've made a, a preset here called iPhone 4 to Final Cut Pro. Uh, I'll delete that one and I'll make another one uh, and show you a really good thing you can do with this. So what I'll, I'll use as a base is the Apple ProRes 422LT uh, codec. So I'll do a search here for Apple ProRes 422. You can see all the different Apple ProRes um, uh, codecs you have here. So I'll choose the LT one. And you can see here we have the settings, all the settings for, for this codec over here. So what I will do is take my clip, this clip, and I'll drag it to the compressor icon. Here we have it. Uh, I'll take the, the Apple ProRes 422 LT codec and I'll drag it up to this bit here. It says drag settings and destinations here. So I'll drag this setting here. Now I'll go over here to the inspector. I click the second button there. And here I can see the settings that I need to do and that I can change. So I'm going to keep it in QuickTime format. I'll keep the video settings like that. Uh, the audio settings, I'm not, not, I'm not going to just pass it through. I'm going to go to Enabled and I'll press Settings. And I want it to be like this. Linear PCM, Stereo. It doesn't matter if it's stereo or, or mono since it's it's recorded in mono, but I'll put it in stereo. I want it to be 48 kilohertz since that's what um, the sequence in Final Cut Pro are. Um, I'll take a look at the quality. I'll leave it at normal. The sample size I want 16, so I'll just press OK. Now we have changed the settings so that we we convert the sound. We also convert the video. Now I'll go to save as and I will call it I for 4 to FCP Final Cut Pro. I'll press save. So I have this selected the iPhone 4 uh, to FCP and I'll press this icon over here. Save selection as a droplet. So press that one. And uh, I can rename it to whatever I want. Convert iPhone 4 to FCP. And I'll save it to the desktop. And I'll press save. Now, if we go to the desktop, we'll find this file over here. Convert iPhone 4 to FCP. This one, I can drag down to here to the taskbar, or I can keep it here. So let's take a look at this. I didn't convert anything in this program. So what I'll do is I'll just take this footage, same footage, and you just drag it to this icon here, and let go. And now you can see we got this window here. Here we can see the source file is the movie clip. I'm using this template here. If I want to um, say convert something to be shown on the iPad or iPhone 4 or Mobile Me or YouTube, I can change that here. But I want to use this template. I want it to be saved on desktop. Of course, I can change it here if I want to save it to some other place. And then I press submit. There we go, now it starts to work and I'll get on to it when it's done. Now we have a finished clip. It's here on the desktop called Test Film 1. So what I'll do is um, just open Final Cut Pro. Now we're gonna take a look at this. This is the old clip. You heard that horrible noise. So I'll just delete this one. Now import the new one. I 
and I'll just drag it down here to the timeline. And I'll press yes. And now let's give it a try. But anyways, it works. And it's not as choppy either. So um, that's my tip for today. How to convert iPhone files to show in um, Final Cut Pro. Um, the same thing goes for the EOS 550 really. To be able to edit it in a proper way, uh, always convert your uh, files. Okay, if you have any questions, please post them below and I'll uh, post another clip uh, later this week, hopefully. Take care. See ya.